Hi everybody, this is Dana Dieters with Determined Fitness. I'm super excited to show you what I'm going to be bringing to my holidays. Um, this is going to be a grain-free dressing. So I have all the ingredients already cut up. It took me probably around 10 minutes just for preparing all of the foods. Um, I have gluten, gluten allergy and a dairy allergy. So this is actually for people that have that sort of allergy or if they just want to stay away from grains altogether. So. Um, the first ingredient we're going to use will be five pearl onions here. We're going to actually be using these right away. I have the olive oil in the, on the pan there. So we're going to actually saute the pearl onions, five of those, four shallots. And you're going to cut these up in half. So you're going to unpeel both of them. So a lot of onion stuff, aroma coming up. If you can smell it, you probably have your eyes watering. Um, then celery. You're going to do three or four. I used four stalks, and I just cut them up in little um, little pieces there. So what we're going to do is, since my oil is already heated up, we're going to bring all of these over. What you're going to do is saute all of the veggies, shallot, celery, and pearl onions with the olive oil here. I'm going to put it back on. It was kind of creaking all a little bit for me. so. Now it should be fine. You want to make sure that you saute these for several minutes. Make sure all of the veggies are coated with olive oil. Yes, very strong smell. Okay, so I'll let that go. The next ingredients you're going to need are Mushrooms. You want the sliced mushrooms. The portobellos are what I purchased today, actually. And I got the ones that are already um, sliced. I didn't do all that chopping because I'm a mom and my kid's sleeping right now. So I did all of this while she's sleeping. That's what you got to do, right? And then we're going to use one-fourth olive oil, which is actually one-fourth cup olive oil that's actually in the pan. I'm just going to stir it again. Okay, and then you're going to use a cup of chicken broth, and I do have the one I use. I like this one. It's gluten-free, free-range chicken broth from Pacific. I like this brand. I use that quite a bit. And then fresh um, parsley, about a tablespoon. And then the main ingredients, kind of like that makes a difference that you're not using that grain, is going to be the walnut. So I'm using three-fourths cup walnut. And then I did add just a little bit of ground turkey that I have in my fridge. So it's kind of leftovers. I usually do that with all my stuff anyways. If I have leftover things, I will just kind of add in ingredients and recipes just so I'm not um, wasting food. And at least it has some other um, recipe I can put into. Now these look really, really good already. Now I do have, this is all going to be actually on the oven. So on the stove, sorry. And so what we'll do is, if you're going to bring this to your relatives or your families or friends or whatever you're doing for the holidays, you can just put it in a nice pan, bring it along into that. That's all you do. It's just super simple. All you have to do is start adding stuff. So the next ingredient will be actually, we'll, we're going to go on to the next one here. We're going to actually add the chicken, chicken um, stock here and then the mushroom. really good. Okay, and then we'll make sure that it gets to a, a nice boil here. You might increase the temperature just a little bit because you want it to boil a little bit. It smells really, really good. Hopefully all my relatives will be excited that I'm actually bringing this. Some of them actually have gluten intolerance too or other allergies, so this might actually help a little bit, but some people might think it's kind of weird that there's no bread in the dressing, but they'll be surprised, I think. Okay, so now it's boiling here. We're going to add all of the mushrooms in. We're going to keep 
going with this. I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit. This is going to be a very colorful, colorful dish. It's kind of nice. I like that. Lots of flavor, too, with all the onions and the chicken broth. And then we're going to add into the walnuts. Now, I've, I actually just bought the walnuts packaged, and they were already chopped. So one thing, you just, if whatever works for you, just do it. Sometimes you're busy, especially during the week. There's Thanksgiving. Just do something that, this is, this is an easy, easy, easy recipe for sure. And honestly, it's better than probably the dressing out of a box. So, you know, you can do this thing. It'll actually keep your nutrition on track, too, during the day on Thanksgiving. So you can maybe splurge on that one, like, pumpkin pie. or. And I do have other recipes on my blog, which is at janadetersfitness.com. And then you can get pumpkin pie recipe. It's crustless. It's dairy-free and gluten-free. So it's so amazing. I actually eat these. And I actually add a little protein in there, so you get some protein in there as well. You don't have to, but um, it's one of my favorite things. Okay, so we're going to keep stirring this up. Now, I do like to add some pepper and spices into my dishes. So I'll just put, I don't do a lot of salt. What I do is I'll just do a lot of pepper, spices, anything that will actually enhance the flavor of your food. We'll put these, add some of that in there. And it's boiling, so it's working. Everything's working together. And then the last thing I have left is, if you want to add the turkey, if you're, um, if you have um, any kind of meat that you would like to add, you could add that too as well. Um, or you don't need to add any at all. Like this could be a recipe without any meat. It could be a meatless vegan. Um, super simple. I'm going to add that in there. And then what I'm going to let it do is just kind of simmer and let it kind of cook with all the ingredients and the dressing, the chicken broth, and the olive oil. It looks so good. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait to try okay. this. Finally done. And it tastes amazing. It looks amazing. I cannot even believe it. I'm so excited. I think everyone's going to be pretty amazed when I bring this to the holidays. Okay, so one thing I forgot to tell you when I um, before is when you are stirring and you're on the stove with your um, ingredients, I need you to stir occasionally for 10 to 12 minutes. And then um, when that is done, your meal is finished. And you are going to be so amazed at what it looks like. It's colorful. It's got so much flavor with all the onions, you are going to love it. And it's so healthy, and you get pretty much everything you need in one dish without the extra carbs. So you're going to be saving on your waistline at Thanksgiving. So have fun with Thanksgiving, eat healthy, and I will talk to you soon.